Oh my gosh. I mean, wow, Otangelo. I, I just can't believe I'm hearing with you, hearing what you're saying. Was he not entirely deceitful in his entire interaction with me? What? If the thing Guys, is, if there's no other, there's no other atheist, it's not it's not we have another, hold on, I'm just going to interject yeah. really quick. Or Orge is an atheist. Would you like Hello. to talk to Darth Orge? What's, what's going on, ma'am? Oh, not too much. I just, I didn't have, I didn't come here with a purpose necessarily. I just wanted to sit in and maybe interject if I felt necessary. No purpose though. Okay, so why are you an atheist? I just said so, in case I felt like interjecting, I could do it verbally then. I wasn't the Why person. are you an atheist? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I misheard you, my bad. Um, long story short, was a quick Christian back in the day, uh, studied geology at college. Oh, stop, um, stop. I didn't ask you about your biography. I said, right now, why do you believe there's no God? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. No, you were telling I, me about your biography. <laughs> If you let me I finish. I want to know right now I lost why there's my no faith. God. Well, what I'm about... Why? Okay, I'll answer why? your question. And it's the same thing I was just about to say before you interrupted me. I, I just don't want to hear your into, biography. I, I get it. Thank you. I ran into an issue with the scientific evidence not lining up with the faith that I grew up in. So I rejected okay. the faith. Okay. Which that, is exactly that, that, what I was about to say before you interjected. Okay. Well, uh, how do you say your name? Org? Sure. Okay. Oh, or that's a non sequitur. Oh, you know what a non sequitur is? I am familiar. Okay. The fact that you have objections to your. Are you talking about Christianity? Yes. Okay. The fact that you think that there are certain provisional beliefs within the scientific world, right? Um, that does not indicate that what is fundamental and ultimate is not a mind, okay? A, a, attacking Christianity for whatever your reasoning is won't get you to atheism. Right? Either well, what is fundamental it, it to did reality, with me, though you you can't say that because it did with me. Okay, you're not. I don't. I don't think you're understanding the issue. Okay, Christianity is not just the idea that there is an ultimate creator God, but that God has an extended property set. If you stop believing in the Christian God. Okay, that doesn't mean that there's no God at all, unless your reason for not believing in the Christian God is a universal defeater for all God concepts. Do I think I follow what a, you're saying. I think I follow. Do you have a universal defeater no. that there are no uh, gods? So I initially left the Christian faith. Yes, um, the my understanding of science precludes the need for supernatural my in my understanding um do i have an that. alternate defeater i don't i want to say i've okay. thought about it to okay. that your extent. understanding of science does can science tell you because in order for science to falsify god let's make it clear what god is right so we're on the same page god is that which is ultimate absolute and fundamental the source of all possibility and impossibility okay we might call that the creator-creation distinction, okay? God is that which is fundamental, ultimate, absolute, and the source of all possibility and impossibility, mm -hmm. right? Now, uh, you told me that your belief in one or more uh, concepts of science uh, indicate that there's no God. Has science determined what is ultimate the source of all possibility and impossibility. So to expand on my statement a little bit, I found science as the answer to any particular, has either the answer or the ability to answer any particular question I may have. In essence, I view the world as just the natural. Well, your question How took would, like five okay. minutes to say too. So Let, listen, could you shorten it a simple. bit maybe? Has science determined what is ultimate the source of possibility? 
Uh, just quick praise. I'm leaving. Thank you for having me at your channel. I'm going to Jeff's channel. He has a live. Doodles. Um, hey, Otangelo, right. I know that we disagreed on these issues, but it's always uh, a pleasure to, you know, deal with you. Okay. We, we didn't see eye to eye, but that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. It's all fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Okay. So, so, or has science Great. demonstrated? Has science demonstrated what is fundamentally an ultimate and that is unfalsifiable? Has science de so I'm not familiar with the phrasing of that question. I gotta think about it for a little bit. But yeah. my, off the science, my off the cuff has science has science falsified God? Has science falsified God? I would not say so. Okay, good. Now you've contradicted yourself. Well you told me you're an atheist. Yes. Okay. Atheism, atheism is the disbelief in all ultimate creator God concepts. Atheism yes. is not simply the disbelief in one or more gods, because then that would make theists atheists, which would be a contradiction in terms. Now, do you believe that God is the necessary precondition of all facts? Do you positively believe that? I would not say a supernatural being God would I didn't, be I didn't, that stuff, no. no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so then you're an atheist. So now the question is, is how did you determine that what is fundamental and ultimate to all possibility is not God? How did you determine that? So, again, I, mean, I don't want to go necessarily into the uh, my understanding of all the classes, everything I've read and what have you, but I have, to my understanding, the natural world can best be can be fully explained by the natural world. Oh, no, it can't okay, be. yeah, you're saying exactly what Lawrence Krauss said. Lawrence Krauss, well, the physicist, stated that we can explain everything through the laws of nature. Yes. Now, can you tell me what it what is ultimate? Uh, I don't quite know what you mean by that. What is it that is fundamental, foundational, and the source of all possibility and impossibility? Uh, based on that phrase and that question, I don't really know how to answer that. Sorry. Okay. I don't, don't think I have an you, answer at this moment. Then, then if you don't have an answer to that, you cannot claim that you can explain right. your world without God. That's right. simply well, fallacious. I, I do you know that I asked. Do you know hey, that let I me, asked? Let me, let me talk, Doth. You've been talking for a while. I get like five seconds. Let me no, but you say more than a minute, to, please. You have to listen too. I mean, I wouldn't say I haven't been listening. I think he's had the majority of the talking here. I should be able to say more than a few sentences. So, my personal worldview, just me, is I don't, I, I guess you, I'd lean more agnostic than atheist in the sense that I'm not affirmative God doesn't exist. I just don't have a reason to believe he does exist. Okay. If something came up that would allow, that would show me god exists i don't i okay yeah I this is what you atheists do this is what all you atheists do you proclaim you're an atheist you yeah. say there's no god and then when you're you, you're questioned about it and your answer collapses you retreat into agnosticism i think no, you're putting got, words I, in my mouth I, here. I, I've, got some, I've got some i've got some, I've got, some I've got some bad news for you okay you put words in my mouth claiming to be agnostic okay all i have to ask you is this do you positively believe that God is the necessary precondition? I believe I already answered that. Okay, is the answer no? I believe I already answered that as a neg in the negative. Yes. Okay, then, then, then you deny God's existence because then you believe in the independence of facts from God. If if one or more facts are independent of God then God cannot logically coexist with those facts and he would not exist. Sure. Okay, did you under, did you comprehend what I just said? Sure. Okay. So if you affirm that facts are independent of God, that is an indirect denial of God. So you have denied the existence of God and you can no longer claim that you're somehow neutral or agnostic. Agnosticism is, is, is a kind of closet uh, God denialism. Says, oh, but I'm not asserting so, there's no so God. Let, so let me try to clarify a bit that. I, I, I think I'm following you. My, my forte isn't um, philosophy or technical language around argument, right? That's not really something I'm good at. So uh, let me try to clarify a little bit. M my belief is different from, maybe different from the understanding of the world as it is. I don't know the understanding of the world, but my little isolated section of the world and my brain, my belief 
is as I stated it was. That's I'm trying okay. to you're, relay you're, that you're, the best way I can. You're not you're 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 not really saying anything of substance. Your position and well, necessarily I, all I can entails. Say is my listen, listen, listen to me. You need need to focus. Okay, focus. Your position necessarily entails the falsity and denial of God. Are we clear on that? My position necessarily entails. Sure, I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay. Now, how is it that God does not exist? Saying that scientific explanations can explain this world without God is completely fallacious because science cannot tell us what is eternal. It cannot tell you what it is that is ultimate, dictating okay, all I can, possibility. Okay, I can try to. I can therefore, try to it. therefore, you cannot appeal to science as a falsifier for God. So, the way I would describe it is. The way I was raised, I think most theists would agree, God has certain statements that he's made and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, in the Bible, focusing, Noah's sir. flood, what have you, right? Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to so, interrupt here. You're not focusing. Listen carefully. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to tell me <laughs> why there is no eternal creator God. Yeah, I was trying to get to that. No, you weren't. You were just monologuing. It wasn't answering the question at hand. There is no God because. There is no God because all the evidence I've seen that there would be a God is lacking. I haven't okay. seen evidence that there okay. is a God. Now, I haven't seen anything the positive. Problem. Here's, okay, that proposition that you just offered is vacuous, and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. Mm -hmm. You could not assert that there's no evidence for God unless you first determine that God does not exist. Okay? So you could not let, assert, me, let me explain why. Let me, let, me, let me clarify it for you. Okay? Listen carefully. This is something that I've studied well. I believe right? it. If the reason why you're saying there's no evidence for God is because you have no defense that there is no God. Atheists of a generation ago used to boldly assert there is no God but they now know they have to defend it, but they can't. So because you cannot defend the falsity of God, you resort to a, a almost an autobiographical statement saying, oh, I don't see any evidence for it. But you see, you're, you're stating that all the facts that you're acquainted with do not stand in causal relations to God. How did you determine that? So I, I would agree with the statement that everything I'm familiar with does not lend towards God. I would agree with no. that statement. Okay, you're not addressing well, you the that. question. I with that. Yeah, you? listen. Now, listen I'm, to I'm trying the to finish. Your, I'm trying to finish. The How question. did you determine that all the facts that you're acquainted with do not stand in causal relations to and with God? Yes, the way I would determine that, the way I determined that in my mind was, I looked at statements God said, and I found that they were inaccurate to the the actual way things were understood. So God that, said that it was, this way. That was, that's that, not you know how what? it is. I, you Therefore, know what? God was wrong. Do you know what? If, if you told that to a 12-year-old Christian, they would laugh in your face. Good for them. That was an I don't know what that means. That was, that was an abysmal response, okay? I'm how glad, did you I don't, determine? I'm glad you, you don't Hold like on a second. It, that doesn't matter. Have you determined? Listen carefully. Have you determined what all facts stand in causal relations to? All facts is irrelevant. It's okay, let's, claims dude, that were made. Dude, listen to me. There are certain you, claims you that have been made. you got to put your thinking cap on. I, you know, you, I you found know those what? claims to be false. Listen to me. You I'm are, on you are just you are are rambling. Discussing this stuff. You are I'm rambling doing. at this moment. You're not focusing. You are talking past me. You are not talking to me. Okay, you're 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 rambling in a borderline incoherent way. Listen carefully. You have determined that all facts do not stand in causal relations to God. Do facts then stand in causal See, relations? Again, to you're putting okay, words you know in what? My mouth. I'm not going to keep doing this. No. You are really stuck on stupid. Okay. We'll see, this is what happens. Let's follow a script or something. You already admitted. Okay. Listen to me have... carefully. See, listen to me. I have more intelligent conversations with some teenagers that I run into on Discord than what I'm getting out of you right now because you're purposely. <laughs> you are, very you are purposely. No, I'm. You know what? I call a spade a spade. Now, if you're a grown man, 
You need to focus and answer the question that I give you, not monologue and dance around it. Now, you stated that all facts do not necessitate standing in causal relations to God as the ultimate I did not point. say that. Now, you keep okay. putting words yes, in their mouth. Yes, you did. Yes, you, you did. I said do the facts you, that I understand. Li li I don't know me. all facts. Listen to me. Dude, you are a train wreck right now. I will ask you again. Do you believe that all the facts that you're acquainted with necessitate standing in causal relations to God? All right, I like that phrasing more. The facts I'm it's acquainted exactly with. It's exactly the same I, I like that, phrasing that I more. gave you earlier. So, yeah. as I was saying, I like that. Yeah, and the phrasing, everything I understand does not line up with God. Yeah, I'm fine with that sentence. Okay, now, how did you determine that? I determined that by looking at the individual facts and see if they lined up with no, my understanding okay, that's, of what that's, God's that's a, that's a generalization with no specificity. Do you want that's the a specific complete, facts? Okay, don't over talk me. That's a generalization <laughs> with no specificity. In other words, it's a non-answer. Now, have you determined what it is that is ultimate that all facts stand in relations to? As we said at the beginning, I do not quite follow your definition of ultimate. Okay, listen to me. The question is clear. If you're a grown man, I have not been technical. You do a lot of insults. I'm insult. not using, I'm That's not fly, using. But you do a lot yeah, of I'm, I'm insulting you because it's called for. Because you're, you're choosing to act like an imbecile. And I know that you're capable of not acting one like that. Okay. Made a now, decision on what I, is ultimate. Have you determined what is ultimate that all facts derive from? Have I determined what is ultimate that all facts derive from? Um, I don't know if I could say what is ultimate, but I'd like a simple answer. I yes could believe there no. is an. I could believe there is an ultimate. Have I, I, could, I, I didn't wouldn't. ask you. I didn't ask you that. Have you determined what is ultimate? I think no would probably be the correct answer to that. Okay. Now, if you don't know what is ultimate, how did you determine that it's not God if you don't know what it is? I determined it's not God based on my understanding of what God has said and what you're, he you're, said. Okay, you're, you're, not you're not focusing, okay? Because we're not talking about a specific religious text. If you were to dismiss all of the religious texts, that still would not get you to atheism. Do you realize that? So if I did not know what not, God you said, know, you know what? That you are listen to me. I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to understand your question, dog. No, Dolph, I don't think I'm you are. Listen carefully. When you talk <laughs> I'm about, asking when, you a question when you, about when it. you start talking about what God has said, you're appealing to some type of revelation. Yes. Now, you you not believing in certain religious texts does not get you to that there's no God. So stop going there. Uh, That's about well, the fourth you know, or the fifth time I, 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 that I'd like to done disagree. that. Don't ever talk to me. That statement. Listen to me, dude. I, I should be able I'm to ask to, questions. I'm about to hang it up, still. dude. Listen to me. You have no ability to focus whatsoever. Okay? That's what, and I'm going to be straightforward with people. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I know that you have greater capability than you're actually displaying here. All right? Now, listen carefully. Thank you. I if guess. you don't know, okay, if you don't know what is ultimate, how do you know it's not God? And don't repeat what you said before. <laughs> um, I don't know what is ultimate. Correct. How do I know it's not God? I guess I would say to that, I haven't seen a reason for for God, therefore, you are simply you are simply reformulating the same proposition. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out a way that okay. works. Do you understand? It. Listen carefully. Do you understand that a proposition can be put in different statements, but it's the same proposition? Sure. Now that's all that you've done. You've simply reformulated the same proposition. Well, if now, it's my if, opinion, now listen, it's my opinion. listen carefully. Do you do you have any clue? Listen. Do you have any clue whatsoever how frustrating it is to talk with you? 
<laughs> a feeling's mutual. Don't worry. Okay, I am not doing anything that's frustrating. You may not oh, okay. you may not like the fact that I insulted you. Okay, but my insults are are based upon your observational behavior. I've been on YouTube. I'm used to being insulted. Now, 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 now listen. How did you determine that what is ultimate is not God when you have just told us you don't know what's ultimate? There you go. Correct. I do not know what is ultimate. My answer, however, is not going to change. I'm sorry. I don't have an okay, answer to what I see, said. You see, you, you blah, wah, 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 wah. You didn't answer the question. You're being irrational. If you don't know <laughs> Jumbo, what, what is, is ultimate. You're being irrational. It, if you don't know what is fundamentally ultimate, how did you decide that it's not God? The only way I can understand God is via, as you said, revelation. You can't no, know sir, God you're not addressing unless God the question. talks to you. You're not addressing There's no reason. the question. Can I talk well, for listen like to me. two are, are minutes you without really, you interrupting, Is this all an act? Listen, I is can't, this I can't all talk. an act? Is this all an act, or are you this stupid in your general life? Are you this stupid when you're dealing with people in your personal life? So should I just talk us over him, or when no? Do I get you him? are you are responding to me like you're an inebriated teenager. I can see why debates are useful you because don't, okay, okay. I don't get a chance well, to respond. Dude, dude, you are. You see, uh, there must be atheists laughing at you here on YouTube. I have I asked you this that. question over and over and over again. Let's try it one more time. And try I keep trying to, answer, to be an adult. You no, you're not, because every time you open up your mouth, you're you're you start talking about something semi-related. You're not answering the question. Yeah. If I can understand, you have, it, you have told do. us you don't know what's ultimate. Since you don't know what is ultimate, how did you determine that what is ultimate is not God? <laughs> all right. Well, we'll go around this uh, again. First of all, I have a belief. I don't know ultimate. Right, it's my it's what I choose, it's my understanding. Secondly, my understanding of God right, is that I God was, makes false excuse statements. Me, I was distracted by one of my family members. Can you go back two sentences, please? Sure. Um do I know ultimate? No. I simply have a belief, right? We all have a belief in the end. We've already covered belief, that. I have belief, whatever. Second, That's not the answer to the question. How do you know I, it's I, not I, God? My sentence my answer takes more than two sentences, please. Secondly. How do I know it's not a God? My understanding of God via, as you said, revelation, because I don't know how you could We're understand. We're not talking about revelation, My understanding sir. of God. We're not talking God about revelation. Statements. Those Are you statements I have me? found out to be Are you false. listening to Therefore, me? Therefore, I don't believe well, We're not having exists. a conversation here. Wow, you are really thick. This is about the third or fourth time you keep on bringing up revelation. You keep, you, you keep it to revelation the doesn't way, matter. But you're fighting okay, new listen, you know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm just gonna, you, you know, I don't want to capitalize on your whole show, praise him. This no, guy no. is he, this guy no, is no, stone cold stupid. Okay, it's open as all. It's I will say you, you're the Christian that's insulted me the most of everyone I've talked to. Guess what? Most I got people, news for you. I got. I seem to get along with most Jesus Christians. In, you, however, Jesus insulted. Have a very good Jesus, job listen of carefully. always being angry. Jesus insulted it's people pretty, who claim to be okay. I'm oh, you're your Jesus God. now, God! I forgot that you were Jesus because Jesus insults. Okay, Therefore, you're an you idiot. I know that. Totally that's a good point. Wall, listen wall. to me. Listen to me. I don't insult people. Until after they put it on full display, they are what I insult them about. Now, Jesus ah. insulted people all around him who openly proclaimed that they were trying to seek the truth, but inwardly they could they they, they didn't. So care you about under, it. you understand the truth okay. like Jesus does. Okay. Now listen to me. Listen to me carefully. Wow. Okay. I, I'm just I'm oh just curious. I'm just really curious. Okay. Good. Good riddance. Wow. You, you know what? Yeah, do me, do yeah. me a favor. Next time somebody is this mentally challenged, just stop <laughs> me from talking with them. Right? No, Man, you, I, you said it in three, ten different ways. And <laughs> Man, Darth, I feel sorry for you, man, because the stuff you go through must be mentally tenuous after or strenuous after a while. So at least, at, well, at least you could say that at least Jefferson Spatch, Spatchcock doesn't display just blatant stupidity like that last guy. 
You know, it's a mental block. Yeah, it's his. He's blinded by the devil, and uh, we try to show him that he's actually nice in a general sense. Like, I know him generally, like, like at a social level. So I guess he's all right. But when you challenge him, though, like you did, he changes. Like he can't answer you. He's like dismissive or whatever. I don't even know what the hell like was going on with him, but he didn't address what you were saying. So none of them do. Even Otangelo. And by the way, you know, I'm friends with Otangelo. I like him immensely, right? But even when I asked him questions, he was evasive. Right. And I, I don't know if people understand this. We're in a spiritual war, people. Like, Jesus says, you're either with me or against me. 